How to Cook Crab Legs A classic seafood treat, succulent and sweet crab legs are simple to prepare at home. You will need pre-cooked crab legs, a large pot or steamer, water, salt, melted butter, and lemon wedges. Step 1. Select pre-cooked crab legs that are firm to the touch, whose joints are easily movable, and that smell like seawater rather than fishy or like ammonia. Choose flash frozen crab legs that have not been thawed. Step 2. Choose your cooking method. Crab legs are most commonly steamed or boiled. Step 3. Fill a large pot or steamer with two cups of water and a tablespoon of salt. When the water begins to boil, place the crab legs in the pot or steaming basket. Step 4. Cook the crab legs for five to seven minutes. Take care not to overcook them. Step 5. Serve the crab legs hot. Crab legs are traditionally accompanied by melted butter and lemon wedges, which enhance their natural sweetness. Did you know? Alaskan king crabs can live for 10 to over 20 years. How to cook lobster tails. This simple method for grilling lobster tails brings out the natural sweetness of the meat. You will need two lobster tails, a knife, a cutting board, two tablespoons olive oil, a grill, a saute pan, a range top oven, one half stick of butter, two cloves of crushed garlic, two cups of water, a spoon, and a small bunch of fresh parsley. Step one. Lay the tails underside up and insert the tip of your knife near the end of the tail. Push the blade of the knife downward through the center of the tails, through the meat, and through the shell. Step two, remove the meat from the shells with your hands until it is only attached to the shell by the end. Step three, cover the tails with oil and let them marinate in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Step four, place the tails on the grill and sear them for a minute on each side. Expose as much of the meat as you can to the heat of the grill by spreading it out. Step five, heat the butter and garlic in a saute pan over medium heat. When the butter melts, add one quarter cup of the water. Step six, tilt the pan so the butter stays on one side of the pan. Place the tails on the other side and use a spoon to spread the butter on the tails. Keep the butter over the heat because the butter is what will be cooking the lobster at this point. Step seven, add parsley and the rest of the water and continue spooning on the butter. Check to see if the tails are done by poking the meat. If it has some elasticity, then you're ready to serve and eat. Did you know, early European settlers of New England looked upon lobsters as dirty and only fit for prisoners and charity cases. How to make beer battered shrimp. Beer adds a nice yeasty flavor to this batter, which can also be used for fish and chips or any other fried seafood. You will need two and a half cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of paprika, a 12 ounce bottle of beer, two pounds of shrimp, vegetable oil, lemon wedges, and cocktail sauce. Equipment, a deep fryer, a cooking thermometer, and a sharp knife. Optional, plastic wrap. Step one, combine one and a half cups of flour with the salt and paprika and whisk in the beer until smooth. Cover the batter with plastic wrap and let it sit at room temperature for an hour. This will help the batter stick to the shrimp. Step two, peel the shrimp, leaving the tails on. Step three, make a shallow cut along the back of each shrimp with the tip of a sharp knife. Remove the vein under running water with your fingers or with the knife. Larger shrimp's veins can impart a dirty flavor or gritty texture. Step four, heat vegetable oil in a deep fryer or a large heavy skillet to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Step five, dredge each shrimp in the remaining flour before dipping it in the batter. Step six, drop the shrimp in the hot oil and fry until golden brown. Step seven, Serve fried shrimp with lemon wedges and tartar sauce or cocktail sauce. Did you know? Bass Ale's Red Triangle is the oldest trademark in Britain, registered in 1876. How to make lobster rolls. If you can't make it to the New England seashore, here's a quick and delicious way to bring the shore to you. You will need four one to one and a quarter pound lobsters, some salt and pepper, a quarter cup of Dijon mustard, one and a half cups of mayonnaise, one tablespoon of tarragon, finely chopped. One tablespoon of parsley, finely chopped. One cup of celery, finely diced. Some Old Bay seasoning, the peeled cloves of one head of garlic, a cup of olive oil, three tablespoons of butter, four potato hot dog rolls, a half cup of scallions thinly sliced, a large mixing bowl, a small heavy saucepan, and a grill pan or toaster oven. Hi, I'm Mark Murphy of Chef at Landmark, and today I'm going to show you how to make a lobster roll. Step one, make garlic confit. Take a pot, put the heat on medium, 
throw a couple whole cloves in there and just cover it with a little bit of olive oil. And what you want to do is you want to bring it to a little bit of a simmer and then you're going to let it simmer for about 15-20 minutes. It's going to take away that bite that garlic has. Step two, start the aioli. So you take your roasted garlic that we roasted, toss it into a bowl. You want to just smush it up a bit. You see how easily it mashes up, turns into a little bit of a, a paste. Now we want to add our a little bit of mustard. Mix that in there. Salt and pepper. And our mayonnaise. Mix all that together and there we have our aioli. Step three, make the lobster filling. Now we're gonna put our whole lobster salad together. We're gonna get another bowl. Take the lobsters and just cut them into little pieces. So now we just put everything together. Take a couple spoonfuls of your aioli. Got your tarragon, parsley, some scallion, and your celery. I like the celery, it gives it a little bit of, little bit of texture. And then of course your salt and pepper and your Old Bay seasoning. Step four, grill your rolls. So we're gonna get our grill pan nice and warm. We're gonna rub it with a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna melt some butter. Try to get some grill marks on there. Step five, butter the rolls. Just brush your butter, melted butter onto the potato roll, and now we're ready to serve them. Just take your lobster salad, drop it in there, and here you go. These are the lobster rolls that we serve at Ditch Plains in our restaurant. Did you know a serving of lobster meat is loaded with essential minerals and protein? and has less fat, calories, and cholesterol than either skinless chicken or skinless turkey? How to make Maryland crab cakes. Crab cakes are best when kept simple and light. Try this recipe for an authentic Chesapeake Bay taste. You will need a mixing bowl, two eggs, three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, one lemon, one half a cup of breadcrumbs, one teaspoon of seafood seasoning, one tablespoon of chopped parsley, two teaspoons of baking powder, and two pounds of lump crab meat. Optional, one half a cup of panko. Step one, beat the eggs in a mixing bowl and add the mayonnaise, Worcestershire sauce, and mustard plus the juice of half the lemon. Squeeze the lemon juice into a small bowl to remove any seeds. Step two, add the breadcrumbs, seafood seasoning, parsley, and baking powder and stir to combine. Use panko or Japanese breadcrumbs for a light, crispy texture. Step three, add the crab meat and shape into patties. Step four, broil the crab cakes for five minutes. Step five, cut the remaining lemon into wedges, garnish the crab cakes, and serve. Did you know the Japanese spider crab can grow as wide as 13 feet?